All right, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're gonna actually start writing uh, code. Uh, I guess we'll start off with basically the backbone of our project. I'm gonna go ahead and go into our scripts folder, right click, create a new C sharp script, and I'm gonna call this one achievement. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now achieve our achievement class is basically gonna be our blueprint um, for the kind of information or the data that the achievement will hold. Um, so I'm not even gonna extend mono behavior. I'm just gonna get rid of that. However, I do want to make sure this class is still serializable so we can view it better later. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the system dot serializable attribute to it. Now again like I said, this class is going to be responsible for storing the data related to achievements. So I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of string variables. One of them will be an ID, and then public string title, and then um, description. Now this, this ID variable is going to be important for us because this is basically how the dynamic enum will get generated and how we'll be able to reference this achievement through player prefs and things like that. Um, well, basically this is all we need for this achievement class. The next big thing is we need to create another script called uh, G as soon as it finishes compiling database achievement database. So this class is going to be responsible for creating our blueprint for how our database will look. Now, the important thing is this achievement database is actually going to be a scriptable object. So we're going to go ahead and extend scriptable object and add our uh, create assets menu attribute just so it can show up when we do right click inside our assets. Now, for starters, this is pretty simple. We can just add a simp one public list variable. Uh, the list will hold our achievement type, and I'm just going to call this achievements. And in theory, if we save and go back to Unity, wait for it to compile down here. Once it's done, we got no errors. We can go to our data folder, right click, hit create achievement database. I'm just going to call it achievement database. Now if you look here, because we made those achievements serializable, we can actually go ahead and start editing this and uh, you technically already have a database up and running. The The issue is if it's not quite easy to delete um, specific achievements. Say I want to edit and say, oh no, I want to get rid of this achievement. This is not really an easy way to do it as well as if for some reason I need to change the order of the way excuse me especially if I need to change the order in which these achievements appear um, there's again no easy way to do it now if you remember the beginning of the tutorial or the very first tutorial uh, I actually imported this reorderable list um, library and we're gonna go ahead and utilize that. So, starters, I'm gonna type in using Mali, that's the namespace that that library uses. And um, what that allows us to do now is we can create an attribute called reorderable. However, this attribute requires that we apply it to uh, a class that extends from. Um, reorderable array which again is provided to us by this namespace and that plugin so if, in order for this to work I actually have to create a new serializable class and extend it from that reorderable array so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call create a new public class called achievements array and I'm going to go ahead and extend that reorderable array of type achievement and the class is going to be empty 
Now it's also very important to make sure that this class is set to be serializable. Otherwise it simply won't show up. And now we can go ahead and replace this with our achievement array. And if we save this, go back to Unity and click on our achievement database. You'll notice we now have a fancy new list that lets us create achievements and rearrange them. And you can actually modify several of the settings inside this reorderable um, attribute, such as do you want it to be draggable, if you want to add a specific icon. Um, I personally don't want it to be sortable, so I'm going to set that to false. Um, I don't want it to be paginated either. I'm going to set that to false. And really, I think that's about all the settings I can think of. Now, um, as you can see, it disabled those little buttons up here. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're actually going to create a little editor script for this database to add our generate enum button. And I'll go over how to dynamically generate that enum. Alright, see you all in the next one.